Hi everyone, this is Patrick. Today I'm going to show you how I made my own sewer inspection camera and what I did to clear out some water drainage from my home. The pipes seem to be clogged. So I bought an endoscope from Amazon. Um, it's a 50 foot length. The cable is kind of a semi-rigid cable. The camera is mounted at the end of the cable the lens is right there in the middle, surrounded by um, LEDs to provide forward illumination. Um, it's made by that company, um, Limic or Limic, and it broadcasts to your iPhone or your cell phone in a live uh, picture. You can also take video. So uh, this is a problem during heavy rains. This catch basin and the pipe which flows out of it overflows severely. So what I had to do was build temporarily my own catch basin out of these sandbags. Um, I ran a secondary pipe for the overflow and just had that pipe run down the hill and drain off to the side, but I want to fix this um, problem. So I'm going to uh, see what I can do uh, to rig up this endoscope and see if I can get it to work. My first attempt was just try to get this to work by pushing it down the uh, hole and see what I get. Uh, I knew it wouldn't work. Um, I expected it not to work when I bought it because of course uh, even though the cable is uh, semi-rigid it you could bend it to shape. I knew it was going to get bound up there in the pipe real quickly and that's what happened. So I'm going on this plan B. I'm going to try to attach it to a garden hose and we'll see uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is what I've done. The end of the endoscope, the lens and the LEDs are right there, that inner black ring. Um, it happened to fit perfectly in the end of a nozzle for one of the pocket hoses you can get. That The nozzle of the pocket hose is the silver part. Um, and the end of the pocket hose nozzle, you can turn it, and it happens, you can turn it to an extent where it can serve as a, uh, a protecting ring slightly extended above the inner ring where my thumbnail is, so it gives the lens some protection as I move it through. And by the way, some, someone else has uh, done this whole routine, maybe not this part here, um, they attach there to the end of a, uh, a plumbing snake, you know, electric kind. I thought I'd go a little bit cheaper. Anyway, so um, I got a cheap piece of the little hose here. I drilled a hole through it and fed the endoscope line in and extended it out to there. Secured it with some, um, some zip ties there. I know what you're thinking, why didn't I run this black um, endoscope line in through the hose? Well, I didn't want to take the effort to do that yet because I just wanted to test to see if this thing works. So you can see it's really grainy. The LED isn't too bright, but still it can overexpose. Um, but for the price, so far it's done its job. Here's my first bit of blockage, all this mud. All right, now it's gonna be part two of trying to clear that drain of that mud. So I purchased this Jetter nozzle um, and it is from Chalco. And the design is, um, you, you hook this up to your pressure washer, you get a high pressure forward stream of water, and then you get these rear um, holes which shoot the water backwards. And I've seen online and some guys are kind of uh, pushing a hose back and forth as a scrubbing action. Hopefully those rear um, jets will, with their pressure, will help draw the nozzle forward and bring it down the pipe. We'll see how that works. And by the way, this um, product from Chalco seems really, really solid, um, very solid. This is a 3 8 and it goes into my 3 8 hose. Just a quick release. Um, make sure that you know the size of, uh, or what size you need for your hose. And here it is um, into the hose. It fits really good. Make sure your connection is bomb proof. You can only imagine the amount of pressure 
on this nozzle, um, it could shoot out like a bullet, I would imagine, if you're not careful. And uh, we'll take it from here. So there you go. Um, I got this hose connected. You might notice that uh, I brought, bought a pretty beefy power washer. I've had some bad experience with buying other products at a big box store. That's a whole different topic, but I consider this an investment. It wasn't cheap, but uh, yeah, I think I can use it a lot around the house. All right, before turning on the power washer, I have the water um, applied to the, uh, the washer, and I'm just testing out the function of the of the jet and it looks to be just fine. All right, so here's the nozzle and there's a pipe. Put it in. This is really, really important that you don't start this until this nozzle is in the hose, in the pipe. Because uh, if this thing shoots out, you can imagine that thing flipping around. It could be uh, really dangerous. All right, you probably can't hear me, but watch. Okay, so it took me a while. I, I hit some blockage, but I just kind of kept working it, taking the uh, hose back and forth, kind of in a scrubbing motion, and then finally it punched through and extended the full 50 feet of this line. And look, when I pulled it back up, the, the hose is not muddy, so that indicates to me that uh, maybe I cleared it out pretty good. Well, I cleared out all the mud, but I have roots, which is a real bummer. It means the pipe is breached, and uh, if I snake it out, it's a temporary solution, but I have to do this before winter. So I've heard that using the snakes uh, in these black corrugate pipes like this, it could chew it up. I'm nervous about doing that, but I'm just, I'm going to have to try. So as I said before, I was nervous about using a snake because I didn't want to um, damage the pipe. Nevertheless, it uh, seemed to clear it out real good. Um, the pipe seems fine. And all told, was it worth the do-it-yourself endoscope? Yeah, um, I've been using it many times since then on other drainage around my property. And the power jet nozzle, absolutely. It's a great tool. I'd recommend that for anyone. Um, so with that, uh, it has been a success, and I hope that you have a great day. Pat out.